Okay, so we've been asked to solve 5x squared plus 3x minus 1 equals 0, and we're going to use completing the square. Now, because it's an equation and it equals 0, we're allowed to divide through by 5. The reason I want to divide through by 5 is then that would give me x squared plus 3 fifths x minus 1 fifth, and that equals 0. Now, the benefit of this is you've got the x squared as a 1x squared, and it's easier to do completing the square whenever it's an x squared on its own at the front. So, let's use completing the square. So, x plus half of three fifths, well half of three fifths is three tenths, close bracket squared. Then we're going to subtract this term squared, so that's going to be nine over 100. And then we need to put on our minus one fifth, and that equals zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this bit here. Okay, so just remember that we want to come to the denominator over 100, so it's going to be minus 20 over 100. So that's going to give us x plus three over 10, close bracket squared minus now if I've got nine one hundredths and I take away twenty one hundredths it's gonna be minus twenty nine one hundredths that equals zero. Now because we want to solve this and we'll want to find x we're gonna bring this minus uh, we're gonna add twenty nine over one hundred to both sides and then we're gonna square root and then we're gonna take away the three tenths. So that's gonna give us x plus three over ten squared equals adding twenty nine one hundredths to both sides will give us twenty nine over 100. Then we're going to square root, so that's going to give us x plus 3 tenths equals, now be careful, whenever I square root here, it's going to be plus or minus the square root of 29 over 100. Now remember, whenever you square root a fraction, you can square root the top and square root the bottom, or square root the numerator and square root the denominator. That's going to give us x plus 3 tenths equals plus or minus the square root of 29 is just going to be square root of 29, and it can't be simplified, but the square root of 100, well, it's 10. Next, we want to get rid of the uh, plus 3 tenths, so we're going to take away 3 tenths, so it's going to be x equals. Now, whenever I subtract or add this number here, what I do is I tend to put it in, the fr at the, in front of the plus or minus, so that's going to give us minus 3 tenths plus or minus the square root of 29 over 10. Now, we, we can just write it as, a, uh, because it's got the same denominator, we can just write it as x equals. We've got minus 3 over, uh, sorry. <coughs> Because we've got the CI common denominator, we can write minus 3 plus root 29 over 10. And our other solution is or x equals minus 3 minus root 29 over 10. That's it. So that's how you can solve it using completing the square. So the main point to get you started is because it was a 5x squared, you could divide through by 5 because it equals 0. The second one then is going to be very similar. So we're going to get 3x squared minus 5x minus 4 equals 0, just bring it all over to one side. We're going to divide through by 3 this time, so that's going to give us x squared minus 5 thirds x minus 4 thirds equals 0. And then we just use completing the square, so we're going to get x minus 5 sixths squared. Square this term, so it's going to be minus 25 over 36, and then subtract 4 thirds equals 0. 4 thirds, we want it as a common denominator, it's going to be 36, so it's going to be minus 48 over 36, it's multiplying both of them by 12. So that'll give us x minus 5 sixths squared, uh, minus, <coughs> minus 25, take away number 48, that's well, going to be minus 73 over 36, and that equals 0. Uh, and then similar approach, bring this over, square root, and bring that over. So we're going to get x minus 5 over 6 squared equals 73 over 36. Square root both sides, so x e um, ooh, ooh, x minus 5 over 6 squared. Square root in this would give us, oh, start that again, sorry. Square root in both sides here uh, is x minus 5 over 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 73 over 36. But remembering this can be square rooted, particularly what the denominator can. So you're going to get x minus 5 over 6 over both of them equals plus or minus square root in both of the numerator and the denominator will give us the square root of 73 over 6. Adding 5 6 to both sides will then give us x equals 5 6 plus or minus the square root of root 73 over 6. And then finally, let's just split this up and combine it. So we're going to get x equals 5 plus root 73 over 6, or x equals my, uh, root of x equals 5 minus root 73 over 6. So there you go. I hope those have helped you with those two questions.